Hello and welcome to the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup 2022 edition here in Sydney, Australia. Game day one, first game of the tournament, Group A action. Bosnia and Herzegovina taking on Puerto Rico. Shona Thorburn alongside Azania Stewart bringing you today's action. Hey, Shona. And Azania, yeah. tell me a little bit about this Puerto Rican team. It's their second World Cup. They are missing a significant player, but they also have some experience, experienced players as well. Yeah, and this is uh, game day one, like you said, first game. Uh, there might be a bit of nerves. They've definitely got younger players. This is a new kind of uh, Puerto Rico team. Young players uh, with Trinity San Antonio. She's only 18 years old. So it'll be interesting. Puerto Rico is going still for their first win in their World Cup. This is obviously, like you said, their second uh, debut in, well, in the World Cup in Tenerife was their first, and then this is their second. So they're still looking for their first win. So like you said, maybe a newer generation for Puerto Rico, but they also have some players who have been around played in World Cups, played at the Olympics last year as yeah. well. So a little bit of experience, but some new young blood. And yeah. now Bosnia and Herzegovina making their first ever World Cup. What can you tell me about them? Well, what a lovely moment for them. Obviously, they've got some fans in the building, which is fantastic to see. They run around uh, the big, the, the mother of dragons, Jonquel Jones. She has just come off uh, a plane yesterday. She said she slept 30 hours and she's ready to play. I told her, take her time, warm up, up and down. But this team really runs around her. But you know what? They play hard, uh, the other four players, and they've got a deep bench. Yeah, they do. And, you know, they have been together for a good almost two years now, building Solid, up to this yeah. opportunity. We saw them last year at the FIBA Women's Eurobasket competition, and you can talk all day about John Kill Jones, but they also have some other players who, who are definitely big contributors in Jira, uh, uh, formerly Babich, now uh, Knesevich, yeah. you know, Elise. Uh, they have some players who complement John Kill Jones. They really do. You, you can't win at this level with just one player, right. yeah. correct? Right, and they're ranked um, Puerto Rico on paper, 17th through the FIBA and 26th. But for me, I think the full package is uh, Bosnia Herzegovina because, like you said, their solid play around John Quill Jones, uh, Mil uh, Milica Diora, their captain, 32 years old, has some great play uh, along in Europe. So I think they've got the nice pieces and uh, they're coached very well. And so that's uh, Group A. So we have Bosnia and Herzegovina taking on Puerto Rico right now. USA and Belgium coming up. Korea and China later tonight. So it's a difficult pool. We know that the top four teams out of each pool will progress to the next round, the knockout stage. So there's Group B, Canada and Serbia coming on right after this game, Japan and Mali after that, and then finishing it tonight. Home team, the Australian Opals taking on France in Group B action, game day one here at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. We'll take a quick moment for the playings of the national anthems. And now for the national anthem of Bosnia and Herzegovina.
Well, congratulations to both teams for being here. Obviously, first time ever for Bosnia and Herzegovina listening to their national anthem at a FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. It's always my favorite part. I know, isn't it great? So now the teams are going to exchange pleasantries, and there are the referees. Scott Becker, crew chief from Australia, Yasmina Alcaraz Moreno, and Diago Yurushima from Japan. They're are, also a team, aren't they? They are also a team, and it's an, honor. Also. <laughs> yeah. it's an honor for them to be here as well. You know, they are evaluated all year round, and, you know, because of their evaluation and how well that they have performed uh, refereeing is the reason why those three are here today. Well, we're under two minutes, ready for game time. I'm quite excited. I'm... Uh, here we go with the starting lineup. So Melendez, Rosado, Hollingshed, uh, Garantes, and Quinones. We talked so about this. Look yes. at that. Number zero, Jennifer O'Neill is starting on the bench. And you and I were curious if she was going to be in the starting lineup. Yeah. And she's and not. And she's not. And we spoke about that. And she's uh, their only player who scored 10 points in the last World Cup. And head coach of Puerto Rico, he's been here before, Gerardo Batista. Yeah. So that's a bit, well, I don't know if it's a loss yet. Obviously, she's coming off the bench, so we'll, we'll look to see if she comes She off. did warm up. Yeah, she did warm up. Yeah. So. so starting five for Bosnia and Herzegovina is Dura, like you said, the captain, Knezovic, uh, Elise, Tavic, and John Kill Joe, mother of dragon. <laughs> So we love it. Kind of a typical. That's who I would have guessed who yeah. would start for them. That's and their solid starting five. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We've seen that starting five for over a year now. Coach Goran Loyo taking this team to new heights. Can they possibly come up with a win? First ever win, it would be. Yeah. And we'll do you see. know what I also like about them? They play so hard. They're very intense. Uh, they're kind of up in your face in the defensive end. Uh, obviously, like we said, John Cole Jones, but remember, right, she's just got off a flight. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how many minutes she plays, how they look after her. Um, you know, I actually, like I said, I told her at the hotel we got to see her. I said, look, just take your time, warm up into the game. Uh, it's intense. So the TSO countdown to tip off just under a minute left before we get started here in Sydney, Australia. So some last minute. Uh, advice, I guess, uh, yep. tactical things coming from both coaches here. And it will be interesting what Puerto Rico will uh, advise, like what's in their scout, right? John Cole Jones is going to be a big part of their offense. Are they going to throw a double? Are they going to zone? How do you slow uh, someone who's so dominant? And she was the top player uh, in uh, the Euro basket who scored a double double. She was the most points, most rebounds, and the MVP. So. You, yeah. would, you would definitely scout for her. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we know that Puerto Rico, just like you and I were, this week that we've been here preparing for this, everyone had their eyes on this Vazi and Herzegovina team. Where is John Kale Jones? Yeah. Has she arrived? She so coming? if we were yeah. doing it, you know Puerto Rico were doing it. And you, you mentioned earlier, start slow, find your rhythm. But yeah. this is an opportunity for them to get a much needed win on game day one. one. You don't want to wait until you know the end of group phase. Right. So we are now going to have a moment of silence to pay respects to the passing of Queen Elizabeth. Well, obviously Australia are part of the Commonwealth, so it is their queen as well. And there you see some of those fans. Good morning and welcome to the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup Sydney, Australia 2022. Bosnia and Herzegovina taking on Puerto Rico. Shona Thorburn alongside Azania Stewart bringing you today's action and Quinones First touch of the game, first shot, and she makes it count. That's really nice for your first basket to go in. Well, you mentioned it. 
Always a good feeling, your first shot attempt. I know, really Goes nice. in for Puerto Rico, so good job there. Now with Bosnia and Herzegovina, ball on the side, they get it in, go into the low post is Jones. They send the double. Not a no surprise there, right? That's gonna be a three point shot attempt is off the mark by Knesevich. Rosado, the captain, her shot's off, fight for the offensive rebound, but Tavich comes up with it. And now Jones trying to look inside to Elise, but her ball is kicked out of bounds, but it's gonna stay here. Quite fast up and down, first, uh, you know, 30, 40 seconds. They're excited. Second, 40, yeah. I'm excited, yeah. so just imagine how they're feeling. And the nerves will start to settle. Exactly, Tavich using the on-ball screen. She attacks, little one-on-one, -on -one. that shot's off, but who's there? It's Jones with, is that an offensive rebound or was that a, yeah. a pass by I don't Tavich? Know. Either way, they'll take it. But you have to box her out if you're Puerto Rico. You can't just let her, she is tall. One of yeah, those six. face kind of box outs, right. right? Because you're not gonna be able to just put your back into her and get yeah. her away from She's the basket. She's six foot six. Well. Yeah. Gerantes, her first basket of the game. So good job here by kind of the bigs of Puerto Rico to get them on the, yeah. the scoreboard themselves. early, exactly. Yeah. Just their 15 footer jump shots are treating them well. Knezovic, her pass is turned over. Now Rosado's running. Nice run, easy two point basket by Hollingshed. Good job by Puerto Rico. Really good. And what they've probably done is come out fast and really put the pressure on uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Jones. Step back, well defended. Nice backdoor cut by Eliz. I'm not able to go up, but she comes down with the ball. And now extra pass to Tavich. Thought they were going to call a foul, but they didn't. Tough three-point shot. And nice Good save hustle. by Girantes. Every ball counts, right? It sure does. And who's going to sacrifice their body really adds up when you get to the end of the game. Yep. Quinones. They've got two seconds. They need to put a shot up. Girantes, they knew it, though. Tough shot, and I think they thought it was gonna be a 24 second shot clock, so no one really went after that rebound, but here is Elise trailing in. Her three point shot is off the mark. And now Quinones can't find a guard, so she says, I'll do your job. Gets it to the captain, Rosado. Nice extra pass. Rosado's three-point shot is well off, though. Yeah, but that's like you see Coach there clapping. That's the right shot, right? They moved the ball. They swung it. Most of the team touched the ball. You've got to shoot that. Agreed. So now Bosnia, it's been three minutes of play. Not many good looks by them. Yeah. A little out of sorts, but we do know that Jones... Though she has played with them before, and I'm sure they're using a lot of the same systems, she did just arrive yesterday morning. Yeah, and let's not take that for uh, lightly. We've both done it. <laughs> She's come from, uh, she was in Connecticut, wasn't she, the last game of uh, the WNBA Finals? And uh, that's a hard journey. So no, no wonder the legs will probably be heavy, but she's still in the game. You mean Connecticut and Sydney aren't close to each other? And what a block by G uh, Girantes. And now again, Puerto Rico, they're pushing the tempo. They want to get out and run. Nice patience by Hollingshed. And now Puerto Rico have jumped out to a six point lead early in this first quarter. Yeah, and there you see that big block. Can Bosnia answer? Diera gets it in to Jones. Jones, little fake baseline. And that's a good foul. Yeah. Tough one. You know, we see every time more or less Joan catches the ball anywhere inside the three-point line. She's getting doubled. Look at this. Comes right. Yeah. Oh, almost three. tripled. Three, yeah. yeah. Um, but she demanded that ball then. She said, I want it down low. It's time to impose herself. Uh, and she needs to see. Well, she's got that first two points. But also, it's just nice to see the ball go through the net. Exactly. Um, 
And also maybe just settle Bosnia a little bit. They're just a bit out of sync, in my opinion. I mean, there has to be some nerves as yeah. well. This is yeah. the first time you're ever playing at a FIBA Women's Basketball right. World Cup. You know, Puerto Rico actually does have a little bit more experience at these major tournaments. You're right. Quinones, three-point shot is good. So what a start by number 25 from Puerto Rico. Quinones had a feet set, beautiful shot. Diora, the captain, Tavich. Tough shot is good. Nice shot there by Tavich. Girantes, she drives, and great aggressive take to the basket. And really right now, defensively, Bosnia and Herzegovina seem like they are kind of out of sorts. Yeah. Giora. Penetration kick, and that's a turnover, but they are gonna get the ball back. Melendez, she kind of thought about throwing it, but it's one of those, you don't always want to save the ball, because yeah. it looked like she was gonna throw it under the basket, and guess what, that would end up in Jones' hands. Right. So Smart. now, Coach we Loyal. have a timeout by Coach uh, Goran Loyo from yeah. Bosnia. Could have happened a few moments ago, to be honest, but let's listen into the timeout. Run transition with them. So we can run transition, we have to make successful defense. Hey, hey. Side, side one. JJ go down. JJ go, uh, no, JJ up. Matea making inbound. Babich go down. Screen for JJ, opposite side. Jebo, Jebo and Milsa. JJ screen to Babich and immediately post up here. Jebo go high. If they trip her, you'll have open shot from Jebo. If, if you have a good answer, go one on one. Let's go. Well, well there you points. go. Yeah. yeah, it was very, you know, nothing crazy. No, just very simple explanation from Coach uh, Loyo about what we need to do, what we need to do a little bit better. And hey, you guys got to get back. And you got to defend and transition before anything else. Yes, yeah. and then drew a solid play. They've got options, and then uh, JJ there just said, "Hey, let's get over the screens. They're not good screens," which is a great point. So good timeout. Well, let's see. Looks like Puerto Rico are coming into a zone. Jones, her shot's off on the baseline, but offensive rebound. And ball back. Jones, double team. Like I said, anywhere she touches the ball. Tough shot by Knezovic. And now, a little bit better job by Bosnia and Herzegovina getting back and slowing down some of those transition points. So hard step out here by Jones. Girantes, oh, almost turns it over, but Rosado takes advantage. Yeah, and good smiles there from Puerto Rico. They're enjoying themselves. They're playing great team basketball, really moving the ball around the court. I mean, really, any team that wins here today are making history for their country. Jones! You can't stop her no. when she gets the ball on the low post. A nice full court defense here by Tavich. Almost a five second call, I think. And now Rosado, she's pushing it. Hauling Shed. Her three point shot yeah. is good. Nice, Hauling Shed. She really stepped into that shot. And you mentioned it, they're just playing with a kind of freedom and confidence right now, Puerto Rico. Right, and there's nothing to lose, right? It's the first day and uh, they match up well with Bosnia and Herzegovina. They do. I really think this is an opportunity and you want to come out and try and get a win tonight, though. Today, excuse me. This morning, actually. Knezovic drives. Giera shots off. You see that? Two people boxing out Jones. Yep. And now Girantes pushes the ball up the court. Oh, nice ah, crossover. Nice crossover. And what a finish by her. So a great job by number 22 and 25, in my opinion, from Puerto Rico early in this Look game. Look at this, nice crossover. Floats in the air. Tavich, tough nice shot. Finish. Here she goes again. Well, a little bit better job there, defensively. Hauling shed, she just knocked down that last three. Rosado, stop, pops, 
and it's good. And what about this? I don't know who would have expected this. Bosnia and Herzegovina, eight compared to 23 for Puerto Rico. And right now, Puerto Rico is feeling it for me. Like I said, they're in a nice rhythm, moving the ball. Bosnia has to figure something out. They're sending a double to JJ right now. Knezovic, three-point shot wide open, and she's not going to miss that. That's what you kind of give up, though, when you're double-teaming yep. a player like Jones. You're asking them to shoot exactly. them in, back into the game. Quinones, little dribble jump shot, and her shot rolls in. That's two shots by her that have rolled in now, so she has the tough, sorry, the soft touch. And look at this, full court pass here, almost turned the ball over. Elise gets it to Diora. And lights out shooting, another turnover by Bosnia and Herzegovina. But talk to me a little bit about the shooting of Puerto yeah. Rico. I feel like they haven't missed. No, yeah, they haven't pretty much. They're shooting uh, eight from nine, 89% from the two-pointer, and they're three from five from the three. So they're feeling good, and their stats look good too. Uh, I'm not it's, sure. a long, it's a long game. I was going to say, can <laughs> yeah. they maintain this kind of shooting for the next 32 minutes? Rosado hands it off. And Quinones wide open underneath the basket. And what a start for that woman right there. Nine points already in this game for her. Yeah, Quinones, a nice little two-man game between those, the post players, really, are they? Knezovic. Gets it back. Drive. Good defense by Puerto Rico. Great that was defense. a tough shot. And now they're running. So I believe it's going to be a jump ball. Puerto Rico down this end. Great. Here we just see the turnover and the yeah. slide. Yeah. Uh, a great defense down on this end, in my opinion. Just moving on the screen, everyone's running out to the ball, making Bosnia have to think and second guess, and they're playing well on both ends of the floor right now. Yeah, they are. They're playing, I think, the energy that they're bringing on defense is leading them, and we're seeing it in offense. on the offensive well, end. And also, they haven't missed, right? So that no. fuels it, too. <laughs> when you Very see true, the ball yes. go through the net, it's always a vibe. So a few substitutions here for Bosnia and Herzegovina. And that's going to be a turnover going against Puerto Rico. So really, for me, it's defensively. I think Bosnia and Herzegovina, they need to pick up their defensive effort. Because right now, I think Puerto Rico have knocked down some big shots. But had they really been defended? Yeah, you're right. Knesevic. Penetration kick, extra pass to Zambetta. Zambetta, her little jump shot is good. And that's the kind of lift you need by someone coming off the bench. That's exactly who you need. Zambetta, 28-year-old, nice little 15-footer. Beautiful pick and roll between the two. They exactly. Really, yeah. Almost left me speechless. Nice job there by Gerantes. Yeah, they're really finding the roller. Slicing uh, Bosnia Herzegovina's defense apart. They can't defend that right now. Zambetta made their last basket. Extra pass to the corner is Delic. Nowhere to go. And look at this, another turnover. And they're running. And an easy two-point basket yes. for Puerto Rico. Not sure they know the game clock. Three seconds remaining, Zambetta does, and her three-point shot is good to finish the first quarter. And that was needed by Bosnia and Herzegovina. So at the end of the first quarter, we have Bosnia trailing big 16 to 31 over Puerto Rico. And it's been all Puerto Rico. They have missed one shot from the two-pointer. They are 11 from 12, Shona. That is a lovely first quarter. If you can put that in, there it is for you on the stats. 92% and they're shooting 60% 
from the three. Bosnia have to come out here in this second quarter and answer back. But do you know what? Here we get to see the best plays of the first quarter. It's going to be all Puerto Rico everywhere. And do you know what they did really well? They got out in transition. Yeah, they did. They got defensive stops. They forced uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina into turnovers. Yeah. And they made them pay. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, they have three turnovers, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and uh, Puerto Rico has one. Yeah, exactly. But how about that? Ten assists. Already ten assists in this game. First quarter. For Puerto Rico. That's that's a very good stat line. So it's I'm sure Coach line. Batista has to be very happy with the way his team has come out and played in this first quarter. Yeah, really nice energy from uh, Puerto Rico. I think they're playing as a unit, as a squad. Uh, like we said, they've played, this is their second World Cup, so they haven't won a game yet, so they're searching for that first win. Also, that's pretty important, right? Yep, and I mentioned it earlier that Jasmine Guathami is has been kind of the face of this Puerto Rican national team. She's not here because of injury reasons, and talk about other players stepping up because they know they're going to have more shot opportunities. Yeah, and that's what you want. I talked about they're a younger team, and you know what happens when you're younger? You've got fresh legs, so you can run up and down a bit better. Not like us, Shona. <laughs> us fine wines. So how about this, Azania? Jennifer O'Neill, number zero. Just checked in. You talked about her before the game started. We are seeing her on the court, so that's a good sign. That is a good sign, but to miss a whole first quarter is interesting. But the double comes. Here we go. Delich, Zambetta, extra pass. And now Delich, three-point shot attempt is good. So way to come out and start this second quarter. Can they get a defensive stop? That's they didn't what get they a need. whole lot yep. in the first quarter. Yeah, they really struggle with that pick and roll. Girantes, she's felt it early. Jones with a defensive rebound, though. And now Bosnia. Jones, <laughs> it's a two. And that's what we are used to seeing. That's she her. got the defensive rebound, went all the way down the court. Foot was on the line. It looked, Foot it was, was a long line. two. So good job there early. Five points already scored in this second quarter. And that forces Coach Batista to call a timeout. Yeah, stop the bleeding quick. Uh, but for John Carl Jones, that's her, in her repertoire, right? That's nothing you, you're not going to see. She comes down, she's able to have uh, point guard skills. Let's listen in to the timeout. Wow, that was an intense uh, timeout drawing of play. <laughs> well, it was needed. We saw Bosnia and Herzegovina, those fans are happy, scored five points <laughs> since the start, just a little bit over 40 seconds into this quarter. And that lead now is only 10. <laughs> well, it's the answer that you wanted if you were Bosnia and Herzegovina to come out in the second. You were a little sluggish in the first and to get instant offense is a, a good start for them. And now full court pressure. This is kind of the energy that you need to win a game. And look at that. Zambetta with the one-on-one -on -one defense forces Jennifer O'Neill into a turnover. So another opportunity for Bosnia to cut into this lead. And a good defensive stop. Knezovic drives. Thought there was maybe a foul, but I guess the referee said it was all ball. Another turnover by Puerto Rico. Delic, she's going to pull it out. Finds Zambetta. Stop. Oh, Knesevich, her shot's off. And missed opportunity. Or. Or did the de defense uh, exactly get back. speed her up? Grantes 
Nice little penetration and kick to Pagan. Jones. Good defense there by Quinones. Yeah. And now Jones, guess what? Double team. She spins baseline and misses, and Delich just can't hold on to the offensive rebounds to ball back to Puerto Rico. And there, I think Jones has done her job right. She's uh, brought the double team. I think she's got that turnaround, which is great, but I think what she's been doing is swinging the ball. Draw the double team and swing it, and that's where uh, Bosnia Herzegovina has been looking good. They've got wide open shots because she's drawn the double. Well, decent crowd, a lot of people yeah. in blue and yellow. There are some Puerto Rican fans behind us. Mm -hmm. and, and China's just walking. Exactly, and yeah. it's 10.30 in the morning here, so people yeah. are out there excited for this FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. Hollingshed, nice little stop. She faked it, got Jones off her feet. So great job there, she's not intimidated. Yeah, and smart, and smart. You know, you know, Jones wants to block the shot. Tavich looks inside to Jones. Jones inside out, and Tavich's long two is good. And that's what I'm talking about. Bring his the nice little fake shot, gets yeah. Jones up. Uh, draw the defense, Jones, pass it out. Beautiful. That way you don't have to do too much. Your job is done. Bring the defense to you. And if you know, especially Bosnia's other guards, uh, the person who's who's helping on Jones, if they can start knocking down shots, it's going to be a long day for Puerto Rico. So great defensive action. That's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. And ball back to Bosnia. And really a different team in the second quarter. Yeah, Bosnia has brought it back within 10, and it's their defensive effort now. They're a shot clock violation. They got the turnover on the sideline here. And they're doing well to get back into this game. So Tavage, nowhere to go. Zambetta has the ball. She finds Jones. Jones, nice backdoor pass. Oh, Zambetta, that's two layups now. Easy layups, I believe, have been missed by Bosnia and Herzegovina. And they just need to take their time. There's nobody real big block shotters uh, for, for Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Just take your time, get them up in the air. Well, no worries, ball back, six seconds left on the shot clock. Jones lets it fly, her shot's off. Delich fighting for the offensive rebound, and she's gonna be rewarded because I believe it's gonna be a reach and foul going against number 25, Quinones yeah. of Puerto Rico. And that's also what they're doing better, is uh, getting second opportunities, rebounding there, and uh, good hard work from her. Well, ball in Jones's hands. She gives it up. And another turnover. O'Neal, nice behind the back move. She passes to Rosada. Great extra pass to Hollingshed. Really nice transition by Puerto Rico. They knew exactly where the ball wanted to go, right on time. And every opportunity Puerto Rico has been given to run, they have scored. Tavich, nice strong move. And that's going to be an and one basket. And I believe it's going to be a second foul going against number 25 of Puerto Rico, Quinones. Yep, you're right. Second foul, that's big. So what do you do? You leave her in. There's six minutes and 36 seconds left in the second quarter. She had a great first quarter for them. Nine points. Do yeah. you keep her in? And well, coach hasn't sent anyone to the bench yet. So okay. I do it's see a risky move, though, right? Yeah, it is risky. Do you trust her that she doesn't pick up the third? But here comes a sub for her. Uh, Melendez is going to come in. Well, Tavich, three-point play for her is good. I feel like Tavich got some new ink on her in the last year as well. Oh, she did actually. She yeah. got a new uh, arm sleeve. Yeah, it's pretty Might cool. Might need to get a little close up of that. <laughs> well here, full court pressure by Bosnia and Herzegovina. Worked for them the last time they had the opportunity to pick up full court. Rosado though, handles it. And now O'Neal 
one of the best players for this Puerto Rican team. She didn't start. We know she's dealing with an injury. Her three-point shot is good, though. And right on time, Shona. You ask for it. Step back three. She looks just fine to me. Yeah. You mentioned it earlier before the game started that she is the only player that averaged double digits. Yeah, for Puerto Rico. Right. You're right. And here they come again in transition. Oh, Melendez. Tough finish, and it's good, so a great job there. And again, Puerto Rico taking advantage of being able to get out and run. Yeah, and uh, Bosnia Herzegovina need to take a timeout because right now it's a track meet, and Puerto Rico is winning it. <laughs> we'll uh, listen in to the timeout. Transition, and you get the ball here. And JJ is screening and rolling. And you are giving pass on the other side. Give her ball high. She can get that ball. That, like head shorter than that. Again, again, hey. again, defensive transition. And the open shot. Step back, but they scored it. When they got crazy, they scored these open shots. You have to be all the time very close. Hey, we just get just get back and now it's still can force. So don't go all the way here and trying to pass pass it here already. Transition, transition now. Just play, transition. JJ side, screen with JJ roll, like you did now, like you did now, but try to get her pass in a pain. Let's go. I love well, this. You heard it by Coach Loyo. This transition defense is so it, important. Is, is right all now. it is. You, you felt the momentum change in favor of Bosnia and Herzegovina. And they got the game within 10. And Puerto Rico didn't fold, though. They got their composure back after a timeout by Coach Batista. And now that lead is back up to 14 again. And here we see some full court press by Puerto Rico. And a trap hit. Well, Delich. Gets it to Jones. And Jones thought it was going to be a turnover, so I believe it's going to be a reach-in foul. Going against, no, that foul was called on Hollingshed. The referee said she hit her in the face. And Hollingshed looks like, yeah, I, I, I think I did. Mm -hmm. So Delich now. 101 against Melendez. I'm not sure it was a pass, but Jones can't convert. Gets her rebound, misses, gets her rebound again. And another turnover because of the defensive effort by Puerto Rico. And Puerto Rico is all over the gym, aren't they? That as soon as uh, JJ gets it, they're doubling down, they're moving on the flight of the ball, they're looking good on the defensive end. Well, Puerto Rico with a chance to yeah. add to this score. 40 points, and there's still 5 minutes and 21 seconds left in the second quarter. That's way too many. If uh, Bosnia Herzegovina and then Roma has also subbed in. And uh, Girantes also, she started very hot. Here she is with a step back. And you mentioned it, she started hot. Not a bad shot from her, no. considering the way that she started. But yeah. she's not able to convert. And now Dura, who's been kind of quiet yeah. in this game, her shot rolls in and out. And O'Neal with the rebound. She gets it back. Don't leave Jennifer O'Neal open. And O'Neal hesitated. I was about to say, I don't think I've ever seen O'Neal come off of an on-ball screen and, and hesitate shoot. or look for yeah. the pass first. And then she thought, well, why not? And her shot is good. Mm -hmm. And really, they can't even get the ball into Jones. Jura, her shot's off the back of the iron, and now they're running. Girantes kicks it to O'Neal, who finally misses. Jones comes up with a defensive rebound. 
And also, you don't want to leave Jennifer O'Neill. Here goes Long, Jones. Deep three-point shot. Goodness me, folks. Jones from about two meters outside the three-point line. And that was incredible. You have to pick her up early because she does have that range also. Tough defense here. And it's going to be called over and back. And you see Guedantes complaining to the referee, saying, no, number four. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 24, Tavich. Matea Tavich touched it, but the referee says, no, it went off your hands. And that was tough defense by Tavich. She's turning up the heat, and her team needs to follow her. Zambetta, she can shoot, folks, and she makes it count, so a good job. And now Coach Gerardo Batista is going to use his second timeout in this back quarter. To 10. And we always talk about basketball as a game of runs. <laughs> That's what we have seen early here today in this first game of the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup Australia 2022. Let's listen in. Now we go on face. I'm on face like this. Well, Zania, we have seen some really good shooting, especially in this first half yeah. by both teams, more so Bosnia and Herzegovina in the second quarter. But Puerto Rico still staying hot. Yeah, they're 15 from 19 from the floor, shooting 79%. Um, I always, did you see a uh, coach's board there? It's like just little um, magnets. magnets? Yeah. I've never seen a board like that. I don't know if I could I, concentrate. I've, I've seen him uh, before at other tournaments, and he, he's always had them. It's really funny. Yeah. you got to follow your magnet number real careful. <laughs> anyway, they're back in, and uh, that's John Cole Jones' first foul. Well... Three minutes and 25 seconds until halftime. Bosnia and Herzegovina trailing Puerto Rico by 10, 32 to 42. Girantes with the big first half already. And it's gonna be an offensive foul call going against her. We didn't really have the angle. Here we have the replay. Yeah, that was actually pretty good de defense there by uh, Milica Diora, the captain of Bosnia. And it wasn't a lot, but it was enough. It was a, a it was easy, high, right? it was high and a push face. up near yeah. her face, and the referees are going to be all over that. Well, surprise, they get the ball into Jones, and no surprise here. Shots off. I think she wanted a foul call. And Melinda is open underneath the basket, and good job by her. That foul is going to go against Nicolina Ilez formerly known as Nicolina Zebo. So two Bosnian players in the last. They well, got you married. saw them in February, right? Yes. You, you were in Osaka, Japan yeah. for the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifiers, and they still had their maiden names. So they had a great so summer. So they had a very good summer. <laughs> and to end the summer being at the first ever FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup, that's a pretty good year for them. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, Melendez silences the booing Bosnian fans. Yep, and she hits both free throws. Very important to keep ticking over the uh, clock. And that was their first uh, free throws attempt. And, and you know what's pretty nice is the fact that Coach uh, Batista has been able to keep Quinones on the bench with those two fouls for Puerto Rico. Jones underneath the basket. Yeah. And when she's that deep and she's posting up, uh, that's hard to guard. And she says, come on, pass me the ball. I got this. Zambetta putting a lot of pressure on Rosado. 
But Rosado comes off the handoff, and her two-point jump shot is good. And just a breakdown from uh, Jambetta there. She's playing tough defense and then just left the ball. And Puerto Rico punished them. So Tavic turns it over, and now they're running. Three and this on one. is where they're dangerous. Gigantes just takes it all the way in between one of those layup floaters and great aggressiveness on her part and another two points for her. What a first half she has had. And three on one transition there, you're gonna end up successful. Goes back into JJ, here we go. And there you see the points off turnovers, 10 for Puerto Rico already. Nice, unselfish ball movement and Ilez is the beneficiary of that. And that's right, Ilez, take your time. There's no one out there who's gonna block your shot. And here goes O'Neal. Puts the ball on the floor. Nice swings in the corner. Three points, good! Good job, Melendez. And she pumps her chest because she is excited. And right now, this Puerto Rican team are shooting the lights out, especially if they are left open for a little bit. Yeah. And Jones wanted the foul and started complaining where I think she could have got the ball. Right. O'Neal, little jab step. Dribble jump shot is off. And uh, Puerto Rico playing in a zone right now. They're playing in a 2-3. Yeah. And no surprise, in my opinion, John Kale Jones looks tired, folks. Yeah, and I just think you get a quick sub for her. Tavich gets into the key, but her shot is off. So now it's about getting one or two more stops for Bosnia. They'll get another opportunity on offense, but they got to get a stop. Yeah, they do. And Junko Jones actually just pleads at the bench and says, I need a sub, and she's finally going to get it. And they need to be careful, right? We have spoke about it. She has just got off a plane uh, that's 20. Dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. And it's, I don't know, it took me 24 hours to get here. So, uh, oh, just miscommunication by Bosnia and Herzegovina and a wide open layup for Girantes. So not the defensive stop you needed to see by Bosnia and Herzegovina. And now they will have a shot opportunity. Elise gets it inside to Delic, almost turns the ball open. Tavich, deep three-point shot is off the front of the rim. So ball is going to go back to Puerto Rico with 9.3 seconds left in this quarter. Incredible first half by Puerto Rico, 53 points shown up. They're on track for 100, right? And if you're shooting and scoring that much in the first half, you, you're not putting yourself in a good place to be successful. Well, no surprise they get the ball to Garantes. She almost turns it over. Shot clock, her three-point shot, tough shot, well defended, almost went in, but it's off the back of the rim. And what a first half we have seen by Puerto Rico. They lead 36 to 53 over Bosnia and Herzegovina. Well, it was definitely the Puerto Ricans for me in the first half. They shot incredible, 82% uh, from the two-pointers and 50%, five from 10 from the three-pointers. There you have it. And they made it to the free throw line pretty low. Only uh, teams going to the line twice and three times. Rebounding game, pretty even still six to one, which is uh, important. And they've scored on every one of those uh, um, steals. And then Jones with 13 and... Um, Jones with a quiet 13 almost. Quiet 13. And, and then uh, Hollings is the other leading scorer. Um, I really think it's points off of turnovers for Puerto Rico. And then when even if it's not a turnover, when they get a good defensive stop, they're getting out and running. And Bosnia is not able, you talked about it, are they are not able to keep up with this pace that Puerto Rico are trying to play at. Yeah, they look a bit slow and sluggish for me, in my opinion. They're not getting back in uh, in defense. And maybe that's the thing. That was uh, one of their scouts. Hey, they're going to be slow. Jonquil Jones has just come off a plane. Let's run her. Let's run her into the, the ground, you know? And that's exactly what they were doing. And, you know, look at this three-point shot here by... Hauling shed, no intimidation whatsoever. She says, yeah, I know you. Everyone knows John Kell Jones. But again, this is an opportunity for both these teams to get a win 
on game day one, group A action. We do know that the top four teams from each group will move out on to the knockout rounds. And, and there we saw Nikolina Knezovic with her three-point shot. And really, defensively, Jones looks tired. I know she has 13 points, but she has worked very hard for all of the points that she has had. Right. And Puerto Rico are just crowding her. So if her teammates aren't able to knock down shots after the kick out, it's going to be a long, long night, day. For yeah. a long day, long morning, excuse me, well, yeah. for Bosnia well, it and Well, it depends where you live in right now, Depend what time yes. zone. <laughs> it's morning for us, but where we're originally from, it's nighttime. But you know what? I must take my hat off to Puerto Rico. They have sent a double and at times triple uh, John claude Jones. Obviously, she is uh, averaging a double-double and she's an important part. So if you slow your engine down really of Bosnia Herzegovina then you're in a good chance of winning but what I think and as you see coach put uh, his hand up they've started very well very well well we'll be right back we've got a game and we will be here in the second half who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. to watch. Putin is to score. Zhu has it high, sir. Shouting spins. Oh, oh, oh. oh! That was another highlight move.
Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those highlights of Hollingshed, who's been superb, along with a lot of players from Puerto Rico. And then, of course, no wonder John Kel Jones from Bosnia and Herzegovina is the leading scorer for them. 13 points, 13 hard fought points through some definite fatigue for her as well. And then Maya Hollingshed, great first half, but let's not forget the hot start by Quinones, but she had to actually go out pretty early in that second quarter with two fouls. And I think uh, Girantes, number 22 for Puerto Rico, has been Incredible. spectacular yeah. as well. Yeah, she's had a nice little crossover move. Uh, for me, Bosnia Hexagonova, we said uh, JJ is the main uh, star of the show, but she's going to need help, right? I think she's doing a good job uh, bringing the Puerto Rican defense, the doubling, and then get it out. So then uh, you've got to look for her teammates to hit shots if they're going to come back into this game. But for me, Puerto Rico have come out killing and just being on fire. Uh, they didn't miss at one point, and they're still on... Uh, on rain they're shooting 82 percent from the two-point shot and they're 50 percent from the three so really hot start and they put up 53 points in this first half yeah and you mentioned it that hot shooting it'll be hard to continue at that kind of a clip for another 20 minutes and i imagine that coach uh, goran loyo will maybe come up with a little bit of a defense different defensive game plan because they need to shake something up yeah. defensively and you know, make shots more difficult for Puerto Rico. Because right now, as soon as they're open, just for a second, they're able to knock them down. They already have two players in double digits, whereas Jones is the only player. You do have Zambetta. She came in. She was kind of the bright spot, especially for a player off the bench for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Who else do you think for them need to step up, though? I think... As a unit, Bosnia, for me, needs to step up on the defensive end, okay? Yeah, if Puerto Rico uh, cool off on the shooting end, what they won't cool off is an easy breakaway transition layup. You know, that's an e that's easy at this level. Uh, they had a three-on-one at one point against Bosnia and Herzegovina, and that's, that's the guaranteed bucket. So for me, if I'm Bosnia, we have to get back in transition, defense better. Uh, we've got to move off of JJ's... Um, when it goes inside, when she brings the double move and get good shots. JJ's not even out yet, which I think she's ex exhausted, in my opinion. She looked at, she asked, there was, what, 30 seconds left, 45 seconds left, and she asked for a sub. Yeah. And I mean, there's no shame in it. I ask my coach all the time for a sub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, coach, get me and, out of and here. And you didn't come off of, you know, a 30-hour uh, yeah. travel day. You know, we do know that she arrived yesterday. She does have 13 points for this Bosnia and Herzegovina team. And really for me, you know, yeah, we know that they're doubling and they're kicking it back out. Girantes, you see her there, she was excellent for Puerto Rico. But you can't, you know, pass it in, Jones kicks it out. You can't just always settle for outside shots, especially if your outside shots aren't hitting. So make that extra pass, you know, penetrate, attack the closeout defense by Puerto Rico. But Puerto Rico, defensively, they were ready for Jones. Yeah, they were. You could see. They are obviously, like I said, and, and that's their main scout, right? Double. But what was great about them is on the flight of the ball, they were in movement to defend. They're running uh, Bosnia Herzegovina off the line. And even when they're right under the basket, they're rushing them and they're missing wide open like little bunnies, you know, little two foot shots that they, we saw that miss wide open layups. Wide open layups yeah. as well, remember? Yeah. So, so I think Puerto Rico is in a good place right now. 53 points in half. You've got to feel good about yourself. There's um, uh, John Betta, eight points. She was solid and needs another good half. But for me, I just think you take it step by step. It's a long, still 20 minutes. And we've seen uh, leads get sucked up real quick, especially the way Jones can just come down the court and shoot a three. Yeah. You know, uh, Melitza Giura, the captain, number four, for Bosnia and Herzegovina, 13 minutes, 0 for 4. And then you have Zambetta coming off, the other point guard after her. She played 12 minutes, she was 3 of 4. We saw it there, 8 points. Maybe we'll see her play a little bit more in the second half because she has been definitely a bright spot yeah. for them. And also they need a bit more energy. They look like, as Bosnia, they look like they've got off a plane. 
look, do you know what I mean? Like, you've been here a fair few days now, uh, and there's no reason why you don't bring energy for this tournament and for your first game. If you look like this for your first game, it's going to be a long week. Well, we talked about the fatigue that we see from Jones. She did come out with just a minute and 30 seconds left until the start of this third quarter from the locker room. So she's definitely tired. But does she have enough to kind of fight through the fatigue? 20 minutes left. We are about a minute away from the second half. And like I said, I think she draws so much attention. Look, 13 points, three assists, seven rebounds, right? She's all over the stat line. But for me is get her in good, successful places where when she posts up down low, they get her the ball fantastic. Then when you draw the double, sometimes triple team, you need to cut off of her. You need to be in successful places to get an easy score. Well, you said it, not a lot of free throw shots being taken. So the no. referees are letting them I, play. I think it's evenly called, though. You know, yeah. they're letting some reach in. Maybe it was a foul in another competition, but both sides are not really getting to the free throw line yeah, two a lot. And, yeah, twice for uh, Puerto Rico, two from two, and three times for... Uh, Bosnia, well, down download your World Cup app. You can take a photo of that QR code, and that's the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup app. Welcome back. Second half action here at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup Sydney Australia 2022 edition. Shona Thorburn alongside Azania Stewart bringing you this morning's action. Puerto Rico with a big lead over Bosnia and Herzegovina. And the hot hand in the first half, she misses that, is Hollingshed, gets her shot back, uh, gets the ball back though. Quinones, we saw her knock down those shots in the first quarter. She misses that one and now Bosnia are out running. Zambetta getting the start in this second half. I mentioned that. Jones played in the WNBA final. That's why she arrived late. And she is stripped. So again, triple team and Puerto Rico are out running. Girantes, nice strong take. Really nice finish from her, and see what I mean in transition. As soon as they get the steal, they're putting the pressure on Bosnia Herzegovina. Savage. Nowhere to go. Well defended. Jones gets it back to Tavich. Six Says, on the Come clock. use my screen. Tavich, extra pass to Elise. Her shot is well off. So another great defensive effort by Puerto Rico. Yeah. And maybe some a uh, little bit of frustration, I think. It's only been a minute and a half, and uh, JJ is already on her knees and shaking her head, so. Well, there you see it on the court for Puerto Rico. Melendez, Rosada, Hollingshed, Girantes, and Quinones. Quinones just drives by Hollingsworth, is not able to finish with her left hand, though. And you saw the fatigue. Normally, Jones would be blocking yeah. a shot like yeah. that. Tavich, backdoor pass to Zambetta, and a missed opportunity. Great move. And that's what I talked about in the first, is uh, those missed opportunities. You're not going to get anything easier than that. And there's no big block shot on this team. So you need those. And, and those kind of like deflate the team, you know? Yeah, good defense here by Zambetta on Rosado. And now Quinones. Tough layup, she goes reverse with her left hand and just through the arms of Jones. And again, I mentioned it, Jones would be swatting that yep. ball. Yeah, the fatigue is definitely seen. Jones gets it back, works down low, and maybe she says, finally. I think, you know what, it'll be maybe less yep. effort for her to just go down, post up, get a quick pass. Zambetta comes up with the steal. And now a possible fast break opportunity. No, kicks it out. Tavich drives baseline. And a foul is going to be called, but I believe it's on the ground. Yeah. And uh, for me, Tavich has been the energy that 
Bosnia needs. I think she's pushing the ball in transition. She's playing good defense here. We see uh, John Betters getting the ball. Um, they just need to get a and defensive stop and a yeah. score. Quick shot there by Delic is off the mark. So now they need to dig down and get another defensive score. They are trailing 38 to 57. Girantes, who's had a great game for Puerto Rico, gets it inside to Quinones, who goes up. No, she doesn't. She thought about it. So maybe got lucky on that play and is solid Bosnia. defense. Yeah, they need a few more stops and just chip away at this. Inside out, extra pass to Tavich. She penetrates. Delic wide open underneath. And that's the kind of inside out, extra pass, penetration. You don't have to shoot every inside out pass, right? Yeah. And that one they make. And they've had that every time. They've just missed them. Anyway, Puerto Rico. Here we go. Girantes, her shots off. Quinones there for the offensive rebound. And it's not going to be an M1, but she is going to get to go to the free throw line. And that's good, solid defense, but then better offense, second opportunity, and makes her way to the uh, free throw line. But that's what you need. If Jones makes the shot difficult, you have to get that rebound. You can't let Puerto Rico get an, an extra opportunity, but they are working tremendously hard. They really are. Yeah. So Quinones misses that one. And we talked at the beginning of the game, as Enya, either team tonight, this morning, excuse me, if they get the win, it will be a historical win. It will be, right? You're so right. And here we go. Puerto Rico uh, trying to hustle. The first win for Bosnia and Herzegovina. It, this is their first time at this tournament. And then uh, Puerto Rico is searching for their first win. They played in uh, Tenerife or Tenerife, however you like to say it. So this is going to be big for both teams. So Delic hands it off to Tavic. Zombeta had that great first half for Bosnia. Definitely a highlight. Tavic, her three-point shot is off the mark. And nice box out by Hollingshed. And now Puerto Rico are going to run their offense. So Hollingshed, 13 points in the first half. And I believe that foul is going to go against Nicolina Delic, number 11, just the reach in. Yeah, and she looked like she came up. So. Yeah, let's have a look. It's kind of maybe hit her head there. She went in, but the foul is actually on her. But she seems to be all right. Ball back into play. Melendez. Gets it to the hot hand, Girantes. And what a game this woman has had, folks. Number 22 for Puerto Rico. And really well executed, right? She came off of that screen, had her feet set, and uh, nothing but net. Elise gets it over to Delic, who that ball is going to be go off the fingertips of a Puerto Rican player. So nine seconds left on the shot clock for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Zambetta, penetration, kick, Elise, two-point shot is off the mark. And now Puerto Rico with another chance to extend this. This is a 20-point lead. And things are just not going well for Bosnia and Herzegovina. I would have never thought a 20-point lead at this stage in the game, an offensive foul there. And that's going against Quinones, and I believe that's going to be her third personal foul. Yep, and the uh, Aussie referee, Scott, is all over it. Uh, well, nice call by him, and then, uh, and now some subs. John Quell back in the game, she's managed to just have a quick rest. Tavich, oh, that zone now. Nesevich, her three-point shot. And again, you said they look fatigued, and a lot of their shots are either off the front of the rim or they're really missing short. And great job, nice fast break. And Melendez is the recipient of that good headman pass by Rosado. Yeah, and they've been incredible in transition, Puerto Rico. They're just unstoppable, aren't they? 
Delich. Kicks it out. And that three-point shot is good by Knesevic. And definitely needed, but every basket, made basket for Bosnia and Herzegovina, you feel like they really have to work for. Yeah, they need a stop. Hauling shed off the front of the rim. And look at this fight for the rebound. Quinones needs to be careful. Yeah, but she's playing so hard. As soon as the ball goes up, she's all over the rebounding. Uh, and that's what... That's why you're a successful team, in my opinion. When you've got players to sacrifice their body, dive on the floor, forget extra percentage uh, possessions, yep. excuse me, they're up 20 and they're still playing hard, like they're down 20. You know what? We've seen it before. There's been crazier comebacks, so you know every possession counts. And let's not forget, if there's a tie yeah. at the end of the group phase, it will go down points, to points for and phase. against, right? right. So. Aggregate, if yeah. you can, you want to win. Obviously, you want to win by one point. That's the most important thing. But if you can, you want to win by as many points as possible. And three-point shot is off the mark by Angela Delic. Yeah, you can't forget about that. That's a great point shown up. Pauling shed. She missed the last one and misses that one also. And now Bosnia slowly, hopefully, can chip away. Yeah, back into this zone, Puerto Rico, 2-3 zone. We saw them have a better second quarter compared to their first quarter, but fourth quarter, 10 minutes, it's a lot yeah. of points to make up if they want to wait until then. Yeah, and again, and they're shooting the ball really late into the shot clock. Right. Girantes finds Jones, I believe it is, in the corner. Her shot is well off, but an offensive rebound by Girantes, and she misses. And now Knesevic is out, running, pushing it, finds Jones, extra pass to a wide open Delich, who they can just not find the bottom of the rim. No, they These can't. are good looks. Yeah, they're good looks. And uh, they're shooting 32% from the two point right now, 11 from 34. Jones kicks it back out to Hauling Shed. She missed the last right on the buzzer. Couple ba <laughs> baskets, but that one is nothing but net. And now a timeout has been called. And really the momentum is all Puerto Rico, right? Just that play alone to get a buzzer beater uh, just shows you. Well, listen in to the timeout because this is going to be an important timeout. short like here and we are shooting from outside and from outside and we can't score and plus again two fouls only two fouls only hey five fouls for hey, hey switch everything even with me switch switch, switch and box out I, 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 Well, he wants him to play more aggressive. He says, hey, we've only committed two fouls. You're down. You have 12 minutes and 23 seconds left in this game. You're trying to make history. You've already made history by qualifying for this tournament. And now you're trying to make more history by coming up with a win. You got to give it your all. Yeah, and for me, it's not enough, right? It's history, but now you're at this tournament. It's big. You need to show up and they just need to execute a bit better. Jones, her shot is well off the mark, and she raises her hand and says, my bad. For me, Bosnia Herzegovina needs a, a defensive stop. They need to turn up the defensive uh, heat. So now Bosnia are in a 2-3 zone as well. And nice patience and a good job there by Pagan. Yeah. India P Pagan and there is Jones shooting another three. Good rebound. 
All right, and gives him a second opportunity to have it here. Tavich gets the ball back, and her shot is blocked by Melendez, and ball out of bounds and back to Puerto Rico. And I have not seen Puerto Rico play this well in a long time. I was there in 2018, and they didn't you know, win a game. They didn't they? win a game. No. I thought O'Neill had a decent tournament, uh, a couple other players, but they just weren't really at the level. And you could say maybe the same about the Olympics last year. They didn't win a game. And this is a different Puerto Rican team. Girantes with a little bit of fancy ball handling moves there, but she's not able to put the ball in the basket. Jones. Nice job there by number 23, Markovic. Yeah. And that's what they need, right? That just see the ball go through the yeah. net and just keep chipping away. But Puerto Rico is being tough on both ends. And then they're getting wide open shots like this. Nice two-man game. But you heard the timeout, Azania. He said, you know, when we are in man-to-man, -man, we're switching. And Jones Everything. says, we're even switching with me, me guys. Yep. And she switched. And her team didn't. Exactly. Yeah. So that shot is blocked, I believe, by Melendez. And Puerto Rico running Tavage, though is going to be called for a foul. Well, 29.2 seconds left in the third. Puerto Rico with a comfortable lead over Bosnia and Herzegovina, 45 to 68. Well, the referees are having a little discussion. They do have a mic, but we haven't been able to turn that on. But they have decided uh, Puerto Rican's ball. And John Carl Jones also has taken a sub for this last 29 seconds. So yeah, Tavage unsportsmanlike foul. Well, and she stopped the ball in transition yeah. and, and it's a rule, we know it. So good job there by Jones. So unsportsmanlike foul, two free throw opportunities and the ball back. So this could be another five point swing. And really, I just feel like everyone for Puerto Rico has stepped up and at different times and moments made it count. Especially that woman right there. Yudantes, tough layup off the mark. And look at this fight for the offensive rebound. But Melendez stepped out of bounds. And right now, I just feel like Puerto Rico wants it more. Yep, they're pouring it on, aren't yeah. they? Like I said, every time that ball goes up, People are crashing the boards. They're putting their body on the line. Puerto Rico's looking good. Well, imagine they're going to take the last shot. Knesevic, three-point shot off the front of the rim. O'Neal, get at this. And that, that was, was close. Very close. That was really <laughs> close. It, I don't think it would have counted had it gone in. And this is what I mean. They are playing every second of this game. At the end of third quarter, we have Bosnia and Herzegovina, 45. Puerto Rico, 69. Incredible for me. Puerto Rico, everyone who's touched the floor has uh, scored. Jones, yeah, no, Jones has scored too. Everyone who's played has participated, has moved the ball, have executed their game plan down to a tee. They're looking good, and to feel this good, this early in the tournament, here are the best plays of the third, third quarter. Yeah, again, all Puerto Rico is in here. I mean, they have just, they have come out here this morning yeah. with an opportunity to get a win, and they are taking full advantage of that. 
and we spoke about it, right? I think it's their defense that's being so solid. Also, their relentlessness, all five players, and then the bench is coming off, uh, playing strong minutes, and they're hustling. They're all over Jones, making it difficult, and then they're just hitting shots also, yeah. which, which <laughs> helps, you know. You know, I, I question whether they could, could continue to shoot in the 80s, especially from two-point range. They've dipped a little, but yeah. it's still a great shooting percentage so great, far. Yeah, great shooting percentage. And also when you're up 20, uh, and they did a very good job in the first half. Uh, I'm, I'm liking this Puerto Rico team. I feel like if they can just keep building on this and uh, running out on teams, They've got a good chance. They'll just keep having to work hard. Bosnia Herzegovina here, they have a lot of questions to answer because who's going to step up? Obviously, John Claude Jones is tied. She's just got, got off a flight. Uh, they need solid defense. They need to score around the rim. They need to step up this last quarter. Well, 10 minutes left. Can Bosnia come back? Or are Puerto Rico going to be playing with the same confidence that we've seen for the last 30 minutes? O'Neal. Stop. Pops. And I thought she was going to get the friendly roll, but that goes off into the hands of Jura, who has been very quiet in this game. Yes, yeah, she has. And she's the captain. She needs to impose herself in this game right now. Seven on the and clock. And so it's going to stay, but there's three seconds left. Another solid defense possession here. They need to get something up at the rim. And uh, there you see good hands by Jennifer O'Neill. And that goes off the hands of Elise. So back to Puerto Rico. Referees are talking about it. And no, they say it's Puerto Rico ball. Rosado handling the pressure for Puerto Rico. Giran says, shake and bake, spin move, tough shot, and it's good. And what a game she has had. Really nice move through the legs. Nobody really rushes her, and she has been solid for this Puerto Rico team. 19 points in this game, and a turnover, which could be costly because they're running. Rosado. Quinones just throws it well over the hands and reach of Hollingshed. Yep, and she says sorry. She says that's my bad over. Don't know what I'm doing. It's all right. But coach says don't worry. Next one. So they've been solid back-to-back -back possessions here. Puerto Rico have been great on defense. Oh, Tavich trying to get something going for her team. And again, good defensive rotation by Puerto Rico. I know it goes off their hands, but there's only 4.3 seconds left. And Bosnia and Herzegovina didn't have a good look in that offensive possession. No, and haven't taken even a shot yet. So uh, another solid defensive here. They Jura. Yeah, great job. Nice finish by her. And she, for you know, someone who has been a staple of this Bosnia and Herzegovina team and been a reason why they have qualified at this tournament, she has had a very quiet game. That's yeah. her first two points Correct. of this game. Girantes, who has been spectacular, step back and she shot. Continued with that spectacular finish. There was two seconds on the clock showing her she wanted the ball and she's taking deep breaths because she's tired, but she she's is killing it. She's played a lot of yeah. minutes too. I'm not sure she's had a break. <laughs> she is killing it. So you see there, nine of 15 for her, 21 points. She's uh, played 28 minutes, correct? Yep, she's the highest minutes on this team so far. 
You're wondering minutes. if she will have a little bit of a break if they continue to have this lead. You know, with about five minutes left yeah, in the game, maybe stop. we'll see her go out and and get a break so she can um, prepare for this. There's a lot of games in, in not so many games, uh, not days. so many days. Yeah. yeah. In my opinion, that could have been a foul, but it's not. And another good uh, defensive stop, Puerto Rico. Yet again, back to back to back stops. Incredible. Yeah, I think they've really, well, you know, I think uh, coach uh, Gerardo Batista had a great defensive game plan, but his players have also been able to execute it. Melendez, three point shot is off the mark. O'Neal, and this is what I mean. I feel like Puerto Rico wants it more than Bosnia and Herzegovina right now. Tough layup is off the mark, fight for the rebound. And we've seen Jones on the bench this entire quarter. And you're wondering, Tavich, her shot is off. If coach uh, uh, Goran Noyo is saying, she's tired, we need to rest her. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to pull off the comeback. Yeah, and that's smart, right? We spoke about that. That is a tough journey that she's done. And I think that's the right decision in my opinion. You're down and there's no way you're gonna come back really. Uh, you need to save it. Like we talked about, this is a long tournament and they've got a game tomorrow, right? They've got a game tomorrow at 2.30 against China. China. Yeah. So you're gonna and need with China's her. bigs, you're gonna you know her. you're gonna need her yep. on the court for sure. And yet again, another stop here. They've got four or five in a row now. And the miss shot, which is rare for her right now because she's been feeling it. The order here, down the middle. And good job there by Diora, staying aggressive. Isn't able to even get the shot off, but she does draw the foul, so she'll get to go to the free throw line. And we talked about how Bosnia and Herzegovina, they play tomorrow at 2.30. So for those of you tuning in from around yes. the world, this game today started at 10.30 this morning. Yeah. And but there's two arenas, so we need to, yes. you can't stop two games at the same time, but and there's two arenas that we're playing in this tournament. Yep, go ahead. Puerto Rico play mm -hmm. tomorrow at 10.30, so that's less than a 24-hour turnaround. turnaround. So and they play USA? They play the USA, so maybe he'll rest people in that game, because like I said, we see number 22, uh, Girantes. She's still on the court. Yes, yeah, she is. And she's gone into a 30th nice back minute. Backdoor pass, extra pass, look at that, Rosado. That shot was off, but great ball movement. And O'Neal almost comes up with the steal. And again, they're up big and they are not letting up. And Knesevich, another missed easy basket two. by Bosnia and yeah, Herzegovina. Two in a row, yeah. and yet again, a stop. They've gone a fair few minutes without a score. Well, Zambetta is saying that was kind of a weak call, but yeah, I guess I did hit her. And uh, this quarter only four points for both teams ha has been scored. So quite the scoring has uh, slowed down a little bit for Puerto Rico. You know, we saw fatigue by Bosnia and Herzegovina from the start early. of the game. And maybe now, like you said, Puerto Rico, cooling off a little bit. Quinones, tough shot, gets her own rebound though, and she is gonna go to the free throw line for two. That's uh, Delic's third foul, yep, at the bottom. Perfect, thank you, perfect man. Oh, you a lolly later. <laughs> my favorite part of uh, playing in Australia. Sweetie is a lolly. And uh, misses, but guess who's there for the rebound? Swing ball, yeah. wide open shot in the corner. It has just been all, look at this. Who wants it more? And a lot of those are, you see on the defensive end, Rosado, and another offensive rebound by Puerto Rico. Quinones. 
her three-point shot yep. is nothing but net, and it is all smiles. And I wish the camera would show the bench right now because this Puerto Rican team are just enjoying this moment, and they are very close to making history for their country. But with all that extra rebounding, of course you're going to get a successful shot. They re out rebounded them three, four times on that that possession. And Bosnia and Herzegovina, they just look tired. Like yeah. they can't put in the extra effort that is needed at a World Cup. Right, and it's just not cutting it in my opinion, but there's a timeout is called. And right now it's all smiles for the Puerto Ricans because they are playing outstanding. 77 to 49, we'll listen in to the timeout. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what he was saying, Zania, but I could definitely tell that he was not happy. Yeah, he spoke with his, uh, his native tongue. And the rebounding game right now. <laughs> as the dancers get their airtime. 41 big rebounds to Puerto Rico to 31 to Bosnia. And then their assist game, 23 assists, uh, Puerto Rico and 12 to Bosnia Herzegovina. Well, inbound play, Delic gets it underneath the basket. Nothing is open. Zambetta almost turns it over. Knesevic. I thought was going to draw the foul, but again, another nice defensive possession by Puerto Rico and forces Nikolina Knesevic into a travel. And yet again, another empty possession for Bosnia and Herzegovina. They have not scored for a very long time. Quinones, nice help defense there by Delic. But I thought she was going to be wide open. If she had come to a two-foot shot, shot fake, that would have been an easy two-point basket. Yeah. Jura, again, who's had a quiet game. And Zambetta, I talked about her at halftime. I thought she was great in the first half of them off the bench. Yeah. And she's been quiet, really quiet. And look at this hustle. You are up big, and you are still making defensive hustle plays. Right. And this is what you want, right? There you see the tip play. But you're building your identity, your, as the shot goes up heavy and a nice hit from Zombetta, definitely needed. But what I was saying about Puerto Rico, you're building what you want to be in this tournament, right? So you have to play oh, strong for 40 minutes. Great hands by Zombetta. She made that deep three-point shot, and then she gets up and defends, and they will be rewarded with the jump ball. Possession arrow is going to go back to them. And I talked about it. I think it would be very incredible with three minutes and 49 minutes, uh, 49 seconds, sorry, if Bosnia and Herzegovina come back and win this game. But we mentioned it, points for and against could be costly, and you don't want to have a blowout loss. No, you don't. So. With that Morally. being said, yeah, you need to chip away at this yeah. lead. It's so important. To, if you're going to lose, lose as small as you can. Great defense and yet another again. Another turnover, yep. which is leading to this fast break. But Rosado says, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And Girantes. For me, she's been the player of the game Incredible. for this Puerto Rican yep. team. For both teams, she's been incredible. And look at that. She drives all the way to the basket, makes it, and is going to go to the free throw line. And one baby, she's on the way to the free throw line. And that puts her on 23 big points. And uh, 33 minutes for this team. A lot of minutes in her legs. There, but there has not been a Bosnian defender who has says, I'm going to shut her down. Yeah. Correct. 
Zambetta. Ball up top, again, nice defense here. And nice ball movement and passing by Bosnia and Herzegovina, and that's an easy two-point basket for Delic. And they've had that all day. They just unfortunately they missed, missed, the, yeah, missed right. a fair few. Melendez drives baseline. Little hang time. Gets she her own misses. rebound. And this quarter alone, Puerto Rico have come up with at least four or five offensive rebounds. Yeah, in a row. Well, kind of a almost an alley -oop pass to uh, Knesevich. She's not able to hold on to it, but it does go off the fingertips of a Puerto Rican player. So, 19 seconds left on the shot clock and ball to Bosnia. Nice patience. Good job there by the captain, Melitza Giora. Melendez who's been another one of the staples for this Puerto Rican team. O'Neal is not able to hold on to the ball. So it is going to go back to Bosnia and Herzegovina. And listen, points off of turnovers, 19 points uh, they've scored Puerto Rico. Points in the, yeah, points in the paint, 36 points. They have done incredible off of Bosnia and Herzegovina's turnovers. 19 points is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> You know, a quarter of your points are coming off of turnovers. Here, so defensively, like I said, yeah. I think they've they had a good defensive plan, but they also the players executed the defensive plan Down incredibly to the team. well. Yeah. Get Antes, little shake and bake. And had she made that, I was going to stand up and celebrate. Yeah, but <laughs> they get the rebound exactly. It, that has kind of been the theme of this quarter, at least for Puerto Rico. Not shooting as well as they did the beginning of the game. Quinones, her shot's off. They're not shooting as well as they did the first three quarters, but how many offensive rebounds have they got? Yeah, and with extra rebounds, they're getting better looks, and they'll get the other side. The order takes three one. Shot is off, and... Again, nothing really going well for Bosnia and Herzegovina. O'Neal is going to be called for a travel. I think she shuffled her feet a little bit there. Yeah, we well, haven't seen Jones this quarter. Let's not forget. No, that's smart. We spoke about it. We've, she got off the plane. Maybe if it's a, a closer game or, uh, you know, they're in a chance to win it, you keep she her on. Was tired. Yeah. I mean, I would have been too. So she hasn't played this entire quarter, and she's still their leading scorer. Right. Delich, not able to get a shot up, but they keep the ball. Jura, shot clock winding down, not sure she's aware. She is. And that's a foul. And yep. yeah, that was a foul. Yeah. So she got fouled twice, actually. And O'Neill looked shocked, but yeah, hun. That's a foul. And a smart, intelligent play by Melitza there. And she just gets hit in the back as well. Nice, hits the first. That's now seven points for her. Maybe we kind of need this a little bit earlier. She was on uh, zero for a very long time. This is their captain and, and one of their leaders. Her first points came in the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I expected a little bit more from her. I definitely expected a little bit more from uh, Knesevich as well. I know she has six points, but we talked at the, before the game, you need more than one player and that player being Jones, mm -hmm. to be able to win at this level. Guinantes, spin move, fade away, jump shot is good. She and is we have really seen in her a, bag. And yeah, she, I was going to yeah. say, we have seen a array of moves by her in this game. I'm a fan. Well, about a two-second shot clock, game clock differential. Knesevic passes to Delic. Her three-point shot is off. And now Puerto Rico, we know we're going to win. Not sure they need to shoot. And they're smiling, they're celebrating, they're cheering. And that is history for Puerto Rico basketball, folks. They have come up with their first ever win at a FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. And what a win it was. Amazing job 
by them here in game day one. They beat Bosnia and Herzegovina 58 to 82. So big congratulations to Puerto Rico. A massive congratulations to Puerto Rico. And you know what? From minute one, they hit that shot. Remember, it went in and that was it. They led the game the whole way. Definitely a round of applause. Congratulations to finally get your first win in this tournament. This is their second time as they start to dance and baila in the middle. And they are well-deserved and smiles all around. But for me, Bosnia Herzegovina needs some, some real uh, yeah, composure, some time together. Uh, but it's all Puerto Rico. Well, all smiles. They're thanking their fans who came here. And you and I got to experience a little uh, fan interview before the game. There they are. And they said, you know, we're so proud of our players. And they're doing this for Puerto Rico, who were just devastated by the, the floods hurricane. Recent, yeah. by the hurricane sorry, recently. So obviously, there's a lot of things bigger than basketball. But this has to give a little bit of an encouragement to those Puerto Rican basketball fans back home. Right, and especially they said they're doing it for their country. And there, the big 45 rebounds for me was tremendous. And that was probably a lot on the offensive end. 23 assists to 14. Puerto Rico have done their country very, very proud. And there, somebody's dad, I'm guessing, clapping away. And, and they should feel good, right? Because that was a great team win. All players who played scored. They moved the ball. Uh, at, and they got out in transition. They look good. Yeah, that you mentioned it. Great team win. Jones, 15 points. Girantes, 26 Girantes. points. How good was she Oh, today? I love it. She was incredible for them. Like you said, 26 big points. Here's the best plays of the second half. Well, just like at halftime's best plays, it is going to be a lot of that woman and a lot of Puerto Rico because they were absolutely phenomenal. They came out from opening tip ready to win. They wanted this game more than Bosnia and Herzegovina. And I really think did, in the way yeah. that they the, the way that they played, obviously Bosnia and Herzegovina wanted to win as well. Doesn't, you know, it's not that's not the point. But it's who wants to put in the little bit of extra effort yeah. at the end of a shot clock, at the end of a play. Defensively, Puerto Rico were absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, they really were. And we saw them get those extra possessions. We saw them dive on the floor. They played great te uh, team defense. They executed their game plan for JJ. They doubled her, sometimes tripling her. And they got back to back and sometimes four to six possessions uh, Bosnia was scoreless. They did a yeah. great job on the defensive end and looked good and executed on the offense. Yep. They did a great job boxing out Jones as well. I know she came up with a couple offensive rebounds to putbacks, but it wasn't easy. It yeah. definitely wasn't easy. And we, we saw know sometimes two bodies yeah. box her out, which is very intelligent. We know that she is jet lagged, and I expect one more day recovery for her will do a lot for this Bosnia and Herzegovina team. Puerto Rico with their first ever FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup win here in Sydney, Australia. And I was impressed and I'm excited to see how they look moving on. We do know that they are going to play the USA tomorrow morning and Bosnia and Herzegovina have China coming up. So 58 for Bosnia and Herzegovina, 82 for Puerto Rico. We have USA taking on Belgium right now. And coming up shortly, you and I, Azania, will be calling Korea and China. Thank you very much for tuning in. What a start to this FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup here in Sydney, Australia. Don't go far because we will be right back with more action. <laughs>